Arizona in the Conference of Champions. His brother Archie, team won third place. It all rolls into one. Oh, big block at the rim by Sharp for North Carolina. Now, granted, he, he's just a freshman. He's going to have a huge career. Oteron Sharp just backed him in and got two and a foul. You're going to get on your bike and go all the way to California? I'm going to bring my bike there. Now that's an excellent high-low there. Seven straight field goal attempts. Again, trying to go high, low, sharp, back to Kessler, and he gets fouled, and he's got a chance for a three-point play. A little late with the pass, but it was a good pass. It was a high pass, which was the only reason it wasn't intercepted. Inside, and it's stripped away. Here comes Kaiser. That was a tough pass. Kaiser all the way to the hoop, and that shot was altered by Sharp. It's going to be out of bounds. Taking the ball to the basket, and this is a nice job. By Sharp to get back with that dribble and block again. He's got long arms and a five inch height advantage, but he couldn't get close enough. The alley oop to Sharp. Nice feed by Caleb Love. Carolina has had some success getting the ball down the court quickly and getting it inside. This is just a great job by Sharp to get position. Carolina Central has driven the ball to the basket. They're looking to drive and kick out. You don't draw fouls that way. North Carolina has been attacking inside like this. The lob again to De'Ron Sharp. Haven't made any threes, but they're wearing them out on the inside. And this is just a great play right here. That is a perfect pass. The last line of defense, a true rim protector. 83 blocks in his freshman campaign. He's up for the fight tonight. Ball got knocked away sharp. Here's Playtech on the drive. That blocked. Wolfpack on a three-on-three -three chance. Sebron rejected by Sharp at the Carolina end of the floor. She's not giving up on the play. C brought it crap. Quadruple overtime to Georgia State and Mercer, but since that point, they've been practicing with more contact, and it's reaped some rewards for Georgia Tech, although here... R.J. Davis come down and hit the roller there, and then when you get a guy like Sharp with the ball, he's what down Nate Lashewski is shooting the basketball as well as anyone in the country. Leads the ACC and field goal percentage, but shoots over 55% from three. He should never get an open look against your defense. Right now, they have not gotten the production from their freshman backcourt. R.J. Davis and Caleb Love combined zero points, one assist, one turnover. Davis in the starting lineup for the second half. Irish with the basketball under six minutes remaining. Four-point lead. Five to shoot. Goodwin's pass taken away. Here come the Tar Heels, and there goes once again De'Ron Sharp for two more. Dayron Sharp getting out in transition, showing off his skill. The big fellas get... said it doesn't have to be fair, and Roy Williams said he didn't feel like that either team had an advantage or disadvantage of playing this game. Sharp, the dunk. He's got 25. Earl Timberlake gets Miami on the board. Three minutes into the game, he's a terrific freshman for the Hurricanes out of Washington, D.C. The rebounds, the Notre Dame's three. Gonna watch this. He goes to the floor, catches the ball, Rotates over Tennessee at Tennessee, and then today they put the herd on Florida, the Gators. Yeah, they're up 20 in the final minute against the Gators right now. Garrison Brooks is back in the game. Sharp's having a big night rebounding. He's got 14 boards, which is two of eight from the floor, seven points on the night. Here he goes with a runner, and that basket's going to count. Good time for Miami. They were up nine, were they not? Nice bounce pass by Walton. Sharp through a double team scores. That's 265 on the 611 frame, Jordan. What a sequence now for Garrier. A sequence for Garrier. Shot block runs the floor. They reward him in transition. And Playtech sneaks back door. Here's Playtech. Quick entry pass. Sharp strong again. Can't get bored with it. If you're the Tar Heels, Page, it's the exact same play except play Tech last time tracked down an offensive rebound, but he caught it. He said, I'm not wasting my time. That's 6'11, 265. 
Davis coming off a 12-point effort against Syracuse during the week. Finds Dayron Sharp. A little bit late getting Koprovich to the ball. He was wide open on the roll, but because Carolina had two guys on the ball, couldn't really see him. Great cut by Anthony Harris. Yeah, but one of the things that really isn't talked about as much, when you hear, you know, everyone talks about North Carolina and their freshman, and Dayron Sharp, of course, right on cue, you should be talking about shot block leaders in ACC history. And, you know, Manny's on pace to wind up alongside Thurl Bailey and B.J. Anya as the greatest shot blockers in program history. Used to excel catching the basketball, but right there, Dayron De yeah, Sharp. And so when you see that the next time, look for the, the radio reporter in the tan trench coat. That's Craig Sagan. No flashy jackets back then. Brown there for the tip. Could not get it to go. Over the top and the slam. North Carolina running that break. And there's Sharp on cue. You're the league of your own. Watch this. Yeah. You see Sharp get out in transition. RJ Davis. Davis. Clemson back quickly. Try to stop those bigs from getting at deep position, but another good pass. Kerwin Walton, and it's two straight triples from the Carolina guard. And now North Carolina can sneak back to single digits. And they do. They run Sharp. Wow, they win the position battle down low, and if you can get Dayron Sharp... Voided that charge that Joey Baker was trying to make and dumped it off to Armando Baycott. Carolina great early, led most of the way. Duke on a run to take the lead. Baycott almost traveled. He has to play in the half court. He's still learning that part of the game. And so he makes way more mistakes in the half court. The follow by Dayron Sharp. North Carolina and Duke. A lot of times it comes Defense down. Defense by Garrison Brooks. Johnson's supposed to be the quicker player, but Brooks wouldn't let him get past. Wow, what a catch. Ron Sharp, great catch. And Jeremy Roach on the deck while he scores. Brooks just Brooks. went right to the goal. He's one of the best players in America under six feet. There's no doubt about it. Playtech finds Baycott, gives it up to Sharp, and there's a chance for a three-point play. He's got ability, and Caleb Lux can be a very good player. There's no doubt about it. Oh, that's where you want to go. Go inside. Bring the ball to the interior. Right Lafonso, right Seth, right Reese. Get it inside. Now some pressure nice on the steal. ball creates the turnover. And an easy good two. For Dayron Sharp. When you were at UNC, what was your playing weight? Do you remember? Uh, he kind of fluctuated. Uh, started the season around 250. Great move from Dayron. Nice little uh, fake in the initial entry and then finished with him through contract. Yeah, so here it is. They're expecting a handoff back, fakes it, goes right to the basket. Uh, it's a freshman that it was a bit of a surprise that Roy was able to get him to come to North Carolina. Nice give and go there for the Tar Heels. Sharp able to finish with the flush. So again, I root for the Orange. I just don't do it in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> back and forth they go. Impressive the uh, development of Caleb Love, but to me, Kerwin Walton is the difference in this team because his ability to make shots opens up the floor, and this is the best I've seen Carolina run. Kepsler with a nice pass, and the finish by De'Ron Sharp. And just not look like the ranked team that we saw in November and December. And really, you know, who are we to judge? We don't know what's going on. And it leaves a bad taste in the mouth of the people that he's leaving. That was none of that at Rafford. Of course, he would have been spectacular at Rafford this year, but you know, he won the challenge himself and has done just that. And of course, I love my alma mater. I mean, it's who wouldn't love being a reigning national champion? I mean, who wouldn't love that? <laughs> you loved that once. <laughs> <laughs> Garcia does a good job of faking with the, the basketball, faking the pass, good back cut, leaves him wide open for a shot. Wow. How about that strong move from the freshman day? North Carolina has scored 80 points or more in his last four home games. Now, you and I have seen them play very poorly away from home as Sharp cuts to the bucket and gets the dunk, and it's single figures for the... Kessler inside, and then knocked away by John, but there's Sharp to follow it up, and he's fouled. They're not a good three-point shooting team, just under 31%. Kessler in the game early, and he had a nice feed underneath. What Syracuse has looked like forever, what they're supposed to look like at the top of that zone is Dayron Sharp goes over the top for an easy bucket. As does Dayron Sharp. 
on the interior. It's just difficult for him to compete with his size. There's Kessler inside for a dunk. Before we get too far away from the cut and coming off his man, he's able to impact that play with a good reach. Big to big, over the top, sharp to Baycott. By virtue of its win today over Louisville and Florida State losing to Notre Dame. Congratulations to Tony Bennett and the Virginia Cavaliers. A number of coaches have told Scott Drew that they felt like, and that's not like everybody's got a ton of experience with it, but they, they felt like it took a few games. Another great cut. Movement and mobility, the pass, the give and go still works. DJ Stewart turns his head. Mark Williams, a little late coming over. And even if he got there, remember when we first saw him? He was at UConn. Yep. We were in Maui, and remember Kevin Ollie saying he's going to be a pro. Sharp spins around Durham and lays it in. The last few weeks, and again with Garrison of Brooks unable to go, it seems, tonight because of the ankle injury. Kessler's minutes will increase. Oh. Seventh offensive rebound of the game already for Carolina. Armando Bacon with eight offensive rebounds in this game right now. Nice turnaround by Sharp. Hey, you're, you're again being coached by the ACC Coach of the Year this year, Mike Young. Big to big, and we have really seen the bigs of Carolina. That Dayron Sharp makes in the lane. It shows his mobility. It's just not a good move. Hey! That is a good move. That's an excellent one. Wow. Wash on the drive. They don't have Cope Vizzo or Engon, the seven-footers out there. Sharp running the floor hard, and it's a four-point lead for the Heels.